Hey guys, Ross Robertson here. Hopefully you enjoyed our, our multi-part series with North American Fishermen and my kind of do-it-yourself building the trailer. And here we're going to give you a wrap-up of kind of just an overview of what we did. And some things, you know, you're not going to be able to see. Obviously, we insulated these walls. You know, we put up three-quarter inch plywood. We put the FRP over. But some of the accessories and things, we'll, we'll start by looking, you know, right on the back wall. A lot of this stuff is personal preference, but I did a lot of thinking because I wanted something that would work with snowmobiles, four-wheelers, Argos, a lot of different deals. So I have it set up because I have such a wide trailer. So I can have two and you can see my measurements. I was a little off. I got to order a few more parts here. Um, but then I've got the slide so I don't tear up my, you know, my floor here. Um, we've got the tough coat. You can see all this gray. That's that tough coat paint, which is going to seal that wood up real nice. And it keeps that water up. And it's, it's really just kind of a hard uh, rubber type finish. And it, it has a lot of traction. You can walk up that. It, it's much, much easier than if we just had a simple painted surface. Um, there are a few things I still haven't done yet, as you know, time allows. I want to replace this uh, fold-down ramp with a big piece of uh, strong, like 6061 aluminum. I uh, haven't done that, but a lot of little things here. You know, the kick plate, you'll see. I've got a kick plate, and I've got a few little things I want to tweak on that, but that keeps those wheels on the machines from, you know, bumping down there. Today, actually, I just moved some furniture and trying to help out the, the friends and family, and that makes it a lot easier. The ramp door, a couple of guys said, oh my gosh, I don't know how we would have got through there without that ramp. So little things like that do make a big difference. Um, moving on the floor, again, we did that tough coat all the way through. You notice I got the rubber mats, which is nice to protect uh, you know the floor in general, but especially if you have a studded track in your snowmobile or whatever it may be. Then we got the slides again. And here's that track system we talked about. This is probably one of the neatest things because, again, you know, today I took out the shack and we were moving furniture. You know, we had couches in here, uh, tables, the whole deal. And being able to put these tie down spots anywhere and move them from where I put my shack and just being able to take these little, these double pair deals out, put them, move them wherever you want is really, really nice. And I've got this track the entire length of my trailer. Um, and again, the kickboard, I've already got a bunch of gouges in that, so that's super, super nice. And, yeah, cost-wise, it was actually more effective, a lot more effective than if I was to use diamond plating or something like that. So I'm super happy with that that kick plate. It's already uh, paid for itself uh, big time. But the track system is another thing that a lot of guys, you know, after seeing mine, said, hey, I, re I really wish I would have done that or I'm going to do it again. So moving on, a lot of little things that are just kind of a personal preference. You know, I took some old boat rails from my old Ranger boat right here and hung these up, and that's just where I'm going to keep some of my straps and things like that, uh, just stuff out of the way, your extra tie downs. Uh, the lights, you know, when I bought this, it only had two lights in it. And we wired, these are a bunch of actually clam sled lights, the large LEDs, and you can see they are super bright. It's pitch black outside, this is all we got, doors are up. Um, and then I bought a couple more of, and just put them on, on a piece of bar stock, the ones that actually came with it, I added another four of those in the ceiling. So I've really got kind of light coming from everywhere. Um, Looked online, I found a lot of different places, but Pit Products was a place where I bought these um, really, really inexpensive. Even if you're a custom fabricator for what they charge for some of the stuff, you just it's not even worth the time of doing it. You know, some coat hangers, I'm probably going to add a few more of those. Um, kind of a nice deal. Uh, just again, keep stuff off the floor, help you dry up. As we move around, I'll show you some of the other little accessory things. Um, again, you know, those things when you're in the trailer and you think about it, I mean, I've got silicone up here, I've got some. Some mercury quick store, some carb cleaner, some sea foam, some dry gas. Got a little measuring cup, a little good little trick for you here. I got my favorite Lucky Burt's custom tackle, a uh, little cushy, but I've got my glass measuring cup so I can get that stable on there and get it exact. And this keeps it from getting busted up. I've been doing that for a long time and don't break them. But just again, this is another little pit products, you know, rack. Keeps that stuff, all these little things that you don't think you need, but you got to really have that stuff. You're going to wish you had it at some point. Then we go over to this cabinet was part of a package deal when I bought the trailer and I really like it. If you can see in there, I've got a bunch of little boxes and things, some helmets. Keeps that stuff out of the way. Um, and again, with some more pit products, I got their little, you know, trays. I keep some oil in there, keep my auger gas, some propane bottles, hats, gloves, all that stuff. Just keep stuff off the floor and organized so I know where everything's at. Um, so that was a kind of neat little thing. And you know, this accessory type stuff is, it's really the, the fun part of it. Putting the walls up and doing all that nasty, you know, labor intensive stuff is not fun, but kind of tweaking it to your individual uh, taste is, is really a lot of fun. You notice here, this is actually an organizer from Clam, the cargo net. I use these in my boat and it's really nice because I put this up here and I'm gonna put some little angle irons on the end so I can put boots and extra things like that up there and gloves and they aren't gonna slide around. And I know that 
no matter what going down the road, I'm still gonna have them where I want them. And the last thing you may or not be able to see is I just put some angle iron on the floor here. And what that does is that just keeps these milk crates in place. So I can take them out, you know, like we, we took some of this stuff out when we were moving furniture today to give a little more room, but I've got my gas cans, I've got some extra fishing tackle, I've got a tow strap, some extra buckets in here. Um, you know, little things like that, they're gonna make a big difference. Um, again, another little thing, you know, I've got a bottle jack in here and some wood to help, uh, you know, give me a little extra increased uh, height. Those things you don't think about. I've got a, uh, a bar in there, a breaker bar, that fits exactly with a socket on it that fits my tires. So all those little things, if you do have a breakdown, you're gonna wish you had. And finally, back at the pit products, kind of a, again, a neat little tweak thing, but you know, I've got me a broom and a shovel. Anybody that ice fishes or does any type of traveling around, we actually used the shovel today, trying to get around some, some piles of snow and stuff. So the broom, you know, I push that out, keep as much water as I can out. Um, you know, these are just some things to give you some ideas. It may be a little different for your, your situation, but spend a little time before you do it, before you start drilling holes, and you're probably gonna have a lot better product overall. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our, our 12 part series or however many it was, it was a whole bunch on all the different phases because it took me a long time. I had a lot of help from a lot of friends and guys that helped me kind of think and I did a lot of searching on that. So hopefully it worked out for you and uh, enjoy.